be the hardest working person you can be. That's how you separate yourself from the competition. Namaskar. Welcome to Next IS. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to cover major species, which was recently news in the news, and they are also relevant for UPSC. So, without wasting any time, let's start today's discussion with Red Sand Boa. एंड ये न्यूज में अभी इसलिए है क्योंकि अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिसेंट रिपोर्ट ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन सोसाइटी इंडिया 172 इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ सीजर्स ऑफ रेड सैंड बोवा इज रिपोर्टेड बिटवीन द इयर्स 2016 टू 2021 नाउ लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट रेड सैंड बोवा तो फ्रेंड्स इसका साइंटिफिक नेम है एरिक्स जॉनी एंड ये एक नॉन वेनेमस स्पीशीज है जिसका मतलब है कि ये जहरीला नहीं है इट इज जनरली नॉक्टर्नल एंड इट स्पेंड्स द मेजोरिटी ऑफ इट्स टाइम अंडर द ग्राउंड इट प्राइमरली लीव्स इन सेमी डेजर्ट एरियाज एंड फुथ हिल्स एंड इट इज एंडमिक टू इंडिया Iran and Pakistan and this is the image of red sand boa which is primarily reddish brown and it is also called the double headed snake due to its blunt tail that resembles its head it plays important role in ecosystem for example it helps in maintaining a healthy population between prey and predator it feeds mostly on rodents lizards and even other snakes but it is now acknowledged as one of the most traded reptile species in the illegal trade market due to its demand in pet trade as well as for use in black magic and it is classified as near threatened species by the international union for conservation of nature with a decreasing population trend in most of their habitat ranges and in india it is protected by schedule 4 of the wildlife protection act 1972 and it is also listed in appendix 2 of sites now let's know about peregrine falcon and ye news mein bhi isliye hai kyunki according to the state of india's birds 2023 report peregrine falcon is in decline agar hum report ki other highlights ki baat kare doston to report was created to assess the conservation status of the majority of species that regularly occur in the country and 942 species of indian birds assessed in this report and 39% of species show clear declines over the past decades and 178 species classified as of high conservation priority and require immediate attention now let's know more about peregrine falcon so friends they are quick and large predatory raptors they are also global birds and ye pai jati hain har continent mein except antarctica it inhabits an extreme variety of habitats tolerating wet and dry hot and cool climates they are highly migratory in the temperate and arctic parts of its range moving from north america to south america europe to africa and northern asia to southern asia and indonesia birds make up most of its diet principally pigeons and doves and iucn red list classifies it as least concern species now let's know about white bellied sea eagles and as you can see here this is the image of the eagles and ye news mein bhi isliye hai क्योंकि नेस्ट ऑफ वाइल्ड बेलीड सी ईगल्स वे आर फाउंड ऑन द पावर लाइन टावर्स इन तमिलनाडु नाउ लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट इट तो फ्रेंड्स इसका साइंटिफिक नेम है हेलियटस लुकोगेस्ट एंड इट इज अ रेजिडेंट रैप्टर बिलोंगिंग टू द फैमिली ऑफ एसी पिट्रेडाई इट इज अ डार्नल मोनोगेमस बर्ड ऑफ प्रे एंड इट मेनली फीड्स ऑन सी स्नेक्स एंड फिश नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट्स हैबिटेट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तो फ्रेंड्स it occupies the same localities for years and generally builds nest in tall trees near the sea coast tidal creeks and estuaries it is occasionally seen in inland waters and in freshwater lakes and it has a wide distribution range on the sea coast of india to the eastern coast of bangladesh and sri lanka in southern asia through all coastal southeastern asia and southern china to australia iucn red list classifies it as least concern species and it is protected under schedule 1 of the indian wildlife protection act of 1972 and it is also included in appendix 2 of sites now let's know about emperor penguin and ye news mein bhi isliye hai 
क्योंकि अकॉर्डिंग टू अव स्टडी क्लाइमेट चेंज किल्ड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एम्पर पेंगुइन चेक्स इन अंटार्टिका लास्ट ईयर एम्पर पेंगुइन का साइंटिफिक नेम है एप्टेनोडाइट फॉरस्टरी and these birds are endemic to antarctica they are the biggest of all 18 penguin species at around 1.2 meters which is nearly 4 feet tall they are high latitude and ice obligate sea birds they are highly cold adapted and spend their entire lives in the antarctic region generally in association with sea ice and iucn red list classifies them as near threatened species Now let's know about Tachymenoids harrison fordi which is a new species of snake and ye news mein abhi isliye hai kyunki recently it has been named after actor harrison ford due to his support of environmental causes and as you can see here this is the image of snake which is a yellowish brown with scattered black blotches and has a black belly it measures 16 inches in length and it is harmless to humans and likes to eat lizards and frogs ye discovered hua tha may 2022 mein by team of researchers from otishi national park jo ki peru mein hai it is named after ford in recognition of his long environmental advocacy through his role as vice chair of conservation international and for raising his voice for nature apart from this Harrison Ford has also narrated documentaries on nature and the universe and interestingly this is not the first time that an animal species has been named after the celebrated actor earlier an ant fidol harrison fordi and a spider california harrison fordi were named after him and tachymenoids harrison fordi is the first reptile named after him Now recently United Nations Biodiversity has urged people globally to use the word fungi whenever they say flora and fauna in order to highlight the importance of fungi and do you know friends fungi constitute a group of organisms which exhibit considerable variations in form behavior and life cycle patterns and fungi along with animalia plantae protista archaea and bacteria form the six kingdoms of biology it is an important group of non chlorophyllous heterotrophic and eukaryotic organisms it is estimated that there exist around 1.5 million species of fungi their ecological role ranges from being saprotrophs biotrophs or mutualist they inhabit terrestrial freshwater and marine habitats and they are cosmopolitan in distribution they reproduce by sexual and asexual methods and their cells have distinct cell walls they can be single celled or very complex multicellular organisms and normally they grow between 0 to 30 degree celsius with an optimum temperature range of 20 degree to 30 degree celsius and many fungi tolerate low temperatures of 5 to 6 degree celsius or even below the freezing limits and some fungi can survive temperatures as high as 50 degree celsius now let's talk about the usage of fungi to so friends since ancient times fungi has been used to make dairy products and alcoholic beverages but a very small number of fungi cause disease in animals and in humans these include skin diseases such as athlete's foot ringworm and thrush so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms 